my purple energy drink, Patton's Punch. An onion? No, Patton's Punch. <laughs> this grapey goodness is getting ready to hit the markets. However, my Planet Fitness franchise is just taking too much time. I gotta divvy it off to each of my three sons, but who should get which section? Let's see. There's my firstborn son, Patton. I can't believe my dad forced me into the fitness industry. I should have been an English teacher like I wanted. Because Patton praises my physical superiority, I'll give him the cardio and suspension section. I'd rather talk about books and movie scripts than dumbbells and squat racks, but no one messes with the king. That way, he could read his books and do cardio and not miss a single step. And there's Kodak. He likes taking pictures of himself. I'm telling you, they're loving me on Instagram. I bet I'm earning points with the king for getting all this business to the gym. You know, I may not be as strong, but really, who needs strength when you look like this? I must say, I don't mind how much Kodak brags about my strength. Lemon curd? No, my strength! To Kodak, I'll give my entire free weight section. My last son, Dwayne, however, he's getting stronger by the minute. He's certainly living up to his name. Named him after my icon, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. If you smell what The Rock is cooking. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired of losing these weightlifting competitions on purpose to my dad. Everybody knows I'm the better lifter. I don't know why they're so afraid of hurting his overblown ego. It's no secret. To my son Dwayne, I'll give him the customer service section. That way, he'll have no time to work out. He'll be so caught up in his desk work. And so my plan begins. What's up, Dwayne? Still confined to the customer service desk? You still taking those uh, supplements and protein shakes? That'll lift your dad? <gasps> Someone's got to break the news to the king of fitness that he's been dethroned. <gasps> You and your brother have trades. We've been able to outlift him for years. What? I think Dumbbell Dave should stick to lifting those dumbbells and stop spreading such lies. Okay, Dave. I'm just telling my other sons about the lies you've been spreading. Well, um, I was just saying how Dwayne here can lift more than the king. Come on, everyone knows it. Tell him. It's true. I'm tired of throwing every weightlifting competition to let you win. Dwayne's stronger. He has been for a while. In fact, I've been doing some reading. A cat? No, reading. Legally. The king has no right to plan fitness anyways. He signed it over to us. It's in our names now. So he can't control our livelihood anymore. It's our gym. I don't even want him in my section. We can limit his time in each of our sections. Fine by me. He'll be banished from his own kingdom. You'll all be sorry when my patent's punch takes off. I'm no loser. I'm King Lean. I'll break you all. You'll see. I need to let my sons let me back in the gym. The aura helps me think. They must let me back in. Ah, it's not working out, it's just eating away your soul, isn't it? How's it feel? I see you haven't left the customer service desk. Pat, go to see who we have here. I see you can't stay away from the only thing you cared about. The gym. Lemon curd? No. The gym. Why are you here? I've come to see my sons, of course. The only thing you want to see are dollar signs, not our pretty faces. Donuts anymore? Hmm. I hear you've opened up a high school English tutoring section somewhere in here. Yeah, you should sign up. Even gym rats like you can learn a thing or two. Ah. Uh. Get to the point. What brings you here? I have a business proposition for you boys. Take a picture, Chief. It'll last longer. 
Seriously, Kodak? Oh. Dwayne, could you please hit Kodak as hard as you can? Well, he was born stupid. Anyways, King Lane, what's your proposal? Spit it out, Pop. I propose a liftoff. A weightlifting competition, that is. If I win, I will be crowned the king of Planet Fitness publicly. And if Dwayne wins? Because everyone knows he will. If any of you win, you will never see my face ever again. Is that a promise? You have my word. To commemorate this occasion, I give each of you the gift of energy. Let's do this. A final toast to victory. No, to victory. Cheers, Mary. <laughs> Three, Three, two. two. Lemon curd? No. Patton's punch. <laughs>